echoing from the empty bowl makes the person, the character whose brown eyes would fall into the darkness of the void before her, if it wasn't for the thin glass wall keeping her at safe distance, assigning her to the role of merely an observer, not participant or object of that grotesque spectacle before her. Before. However, however, the blue pain escaped, escaped the, through the thin glass wall and had it and straight for the brown of her iris, drawing her in and directing her towards a new part in this meeting. She did not notice that it had already been too late by the moment she had unconsciously agreed to set eyes on it. The world, safely known and certified by sanity and reason, did not fall into pieces with a big bang, yet something must have happened world there in that known, encounter. Certified and the daily mundane, the realm of art, stood face to face, mind and matter against the to figure out what was right. What was was it a fall? Was it a frenzy? Was it ecstasy or agony? Was the person dancing or surfing on his deathbed? Cricked limbs not yet brought back into Uruguay and Montana? Or was she maybe tricked? And this was all but a She was manipulated into what to make of this, and therefore the painting contained no truth and realness whatsoever. Face. Who was the person eating? A sir, a lady, an animal, a god, an artist, or a god, an animal, a child, a sinner, an actor? Unknown. Why couldn't she tell? Why couldn't she tell? There, and at her, where her imagination had taken after all, a nightmare, a still a dream. dream. There, in that fall from grace and sanity, Came. She came to rest, rest in a beautiful, beautiful glimpse of what true what freedom of freedom thought might be. Thought be. The rest, rest is echo. echo. The museum. The museum. The museum.